Mines are going deeper. Grades are going down and exploration is getting more challenging, Definitely. not naturally. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. you guys are looking at that. Well, you're dealing with that because that's the nature of our industry. So deep mines. So you need, so what you want are in, instrumentation and methodologies that can see the, ideally in three dimensions, yep. you know, so, so there's lots of in, in, data types that we'll see in two dimensions. Traditionally. Yeah. yeah. And they're really valuable and really important to integrate that. Yeah. But to couple that with information, which you can see, you know, at depth and in three dimensions. Yeah. So you actually are constraining the the, inf the information you're getting from your geophysical methods is constraining something about the subsurface at a depth. Yeah. So you're not having to project or do some other transformations. They are very useful, but this is, you know, so, so what I'm getting at here is things like seismic, which is something that probably is quite underutilized. It is, and, and we, made a, we made space. a deliberate choice to choose seismic data. We collect a lot of different data sets, but, but we're focusing on, on seismic data, uh, various types of seismic data, mm -hmm. because it scales very well with depth, better than gravity, yeah. better than magnetics. It uh, doesn't have you know, some penetration problems that electromagnetic methods have. have. Yeah. Um, and so we've deliberately chosen seismic data, but we do and are you know, building tools that will collect those other types of data sets because you, know, you don't just want one physical property. You want to you understand as much about the subsurface Absolutely. as possible. Yeah. But that's built on the back of seismic. Seismic really is that kind of depth scaffold. Scaffold. I was hoping you would say oh, that yes. word. Yeah. Yeah. It's a great word, actually. It is a good word. It's a very visual metaphor for, for putting something else on something. Yeah. And I think of, you know, for, as a geologist, you know, working with the, with the seismic data, uh, with all the fleet space seismic data, has been incredibly interesting to see just how much geometry you can understand, just how much sort of structural information or lithological information you can get um, fr from being able to say, wow, there's actually, there's actually a whole layer here or there's a shape. And in one of our surveys, there's this amazing survey which we've done, which you can see shapes in the seismic velocity, which correspond beautifully to igneous intrusions, you know, to some sort of granitic body that you're actually looking at in three dimensions. It's, 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 it's fuzzy. I'm not going to I'm not like picking out individuals, yeah, but yeah. you can see there's a body in here that corresponds to other things we know that are magnetic, are that, magmatic features. Yeah. And that, that model that we created was mapping structure. We did it down to five kilometers. Now, no one's going to mine at five kilometers, oh, no, but, no. but a lot well, of the majors, maybe. well, yeah, we're, getting, we're getting, getting pretty close there, in a though, couple of, I've, it, I've been four kilometers down there. a gold mine many times. Let me tell you, it's, it's uncomfortable. Yeah. Well, then we get robots to do it, I guess. That, that's, that's or we could send you down there. Maybe I'm a robot. Um, <laughs> you the, like equations more than me, so I'm suspecting yeah. there's a bit of maths going on. Well, we, we can uh, edit. We can th edit. Oh, that's, sure. that's okay. We never uh, was that that we, bad? We, 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 we never do. 